Hello and welcome to Lasse's Food and Barbecue. Today I'm doing a collaboration with Tom over at Cooking with Tom Tom. Uh, we talked a little bit about it and we just said uh, what should we make and decided that let's just make a juicy burger. So I'm going to do my take on it and he's going to do his. So I'm going to link you up there and you can go check him out, check his channel, show him some love and you can check his video as well. Uh, I'm going to be using two tips that I've picked up along the way and um, they're hopefully I've never combined them but they're hopefully going to be both uh, good to make this as juicy as possible. I will be uh, cooking the burger on my uh, Primus camping kitchen that uh, my wife picked up second hand just a few weeks ago and we got it running today so I'm just going to cook it in a cast iron skillet on that. Anyway, let me bring you in and I'll show you what I've got to work with. Okay, first off, I'm going to do one of the tricks. I'm going to take half a clove of garlic and one tablespoon of butter and make some garlic butter. This I'm then going to put in the freezer. I'm going to make a disc and then just put it in the freezer. So I'm pressing with a garlic press into the butter. I will actually add a little bit of spice mix, salt and pepper and garlic as well. The trick is to let this butter be in the center of the burger when you cook it, meaning that it will melt slowly while the burger is being cooked. There we go. So secondly, I've got a piece of chuck and a piece of roast beef and I'm going to create the burger that is uh, about half a pound, uh, which means I'm going to be using, or I, I have decided I'm going to be using half of the, uh, the burger is going to be chuck and half of the burger is going to be roast beef. Uh, and then I'm going to grind this. Um, and there we go. That's a half a pound of meat. Large holes today for the burger. Anyway, I'll do this and I'll meet you back in a second. And since I want this to be ground and mixed well, I'm just going to grind it once more. As you can see, this meat is quite lean, um, but it's okay. It's going to have the butter in there. Um, I'm just going to spice it a little bit. And then I'm going to add tip number two one half tablespoon of mayo and I'm gonna add one half of may tablespoon of mayo per burger so it's not very much mayo but it will give it a little bit more juiciness okay I think that's ready to work with so we're gonna shape this into a burger and then we're gonna incorporate this into the middle so this is much easier to work with using your hands. Okay, just work it around. And now I'm going to take a little bit off. And that's going to be like the lid for this. If you're going to make this a burger juicy, you can't make it too thin because that's not going to work out very well for you. Anyway, so I've got this garlic butter here. I need to leave room on every side for the burger to adhere to each other. And then the lid on there. I'm going to just flatten that out. Something like that. We add it on there. And then we start working this together. Trying to make it look like it's nothing in there. Okay, and this will hopefully create a burger where the butter is not going to just run out into the pan and into the skillet, but you never know. Okay, on a piece of baking paper, just going to put it there, press it out, 
think that's gonna be just perfect. So I'm gonna put this into the freezer for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna continue from that. That will help it to not break up as easily while it's searing. Anyway, I'll bring you back when I'm outside. Okay, so this is the Primus kitchen. It's actually pretty nifty. They said at the store where I went to get a gasket that it's uh, early 60s, maybe late 50s. They couldn't really be sure. Anyway, uh, this is the heat control valve and that's the heat. Anyway, I'm just going to be using one, uh, one of the heaters today. Um, plan is, I'm going to use this skillet. And I'm gonna try to get some sear marks on the burger, which of course I probably should be getting. And then after flipping it, I'm gonna put this one on, lower the heat and finish it off on lower heat. But um, since I've never done this before, we just have to see how it goes. Anyway, this is heating up. Um, it's gonna take a little bit, so I'm gonna go get the hamburger. So this burger has been in the freezer for about 15 minutes. It's actually been there a little bit longer. And I'm just gonna put that on there. Like I said, first time using this and it's starting to rain. So I have to do something about that. Back in a bit. Um, we're getting some smoke here. Um, as you all know, you're not supposed to touch this until it's really done, uh, until it's letting go. So I'm just trying to see if we're there. We're not really there yet. Uh, it could be that it's actually the oil that was on the pan that is smoking, but oh well, I don't really know. It's starting to get um, change the color up on the side, so we could actually be getting there. Anyway, we'll just let it go. Okay, time to flip this. It's been cooking about four minutes. Oh, well, I could have done it a little bit longer. Anyway, back to the plan. I'm going to attempt this just to see where I'm at. I'm not entirely sure it's really doable because it's not that thick. I don't want it to be too overcooked, even though I want it to be cooked. I'm gonna put that on like that. Okay, and then lower the heat. Okay, so this has been on about five more minutes. It's actually nearing done. I'm gonna take it off now and uh, I'll meet you inside. So this has just been resting for a little bit and I'm gonna put on some American plastic cheese just because that's the way it's supposed to be when it's an American burger, right? Just gonna put that on there. We're gonna let that melt and I'll bring you around to show you what we've got on the other side. So we got some bread. Just regular white bread. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of lettuce on the bottom. Then I'm going to put a little bit of mustard. Then I'm going to put two slices of tomato and our burger, like so. And I've got two slices of onion. Then I'm going to put something like that. A little bit more mustard. I'm not a ketchup fan, so no ketchup on this. Okay, and there we go. This is what we came up with. Hope you can see that. Anyway, let me take a picture and then I'm gonna cut it apart. Okay, there we go. So I cut it apart. Let's see what we got. I don't know if you can see this. This is actually really juicy and it's cooked all the way through. The other part looks like that. Oh, the cheese has got letting go. Anyway, I'm gonna bring you around and um, I'm gonna give you a taste test. Okay, there we go. For Tom at Cooking with Tom Tom. Anyway, um, cheeseburger with um, garlic butter patty and some tomato. Let's see. Hmm. Mm. You can taste the pe pepper, the mustard, of course, but mainly you taste the garlic. 
sending me through there. Mm, that was really nice. Anyway, it was fun doing a collaboration with Tom and um, I hope you will visit him. Um, and like I said, the link is up there. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.